Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel. My name is Summer from Summer Moon Tarot. I just want to give a quick shout out to those who are liking, subscribing, and commenting. You guys are making me feel all gushy inside. Someone was like, you know, it's not really that many. What are you talking about? Why are you so excited? Does not matter. Thank you so much. Gratitude everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, so today we are doing a romantic pick a card reading. We're going to look at what your life partner, significant others, characteristics, what they like, how their vibe is, and when and where you will meet. Now, this pick a card reading is for a group, so if it doesn't resonate with you, don't worry about it, don't fret, just let it fly, okay? And by a uh, commenter's choice, they wanted me to bring back the Nicholas Cage pillow, so... So I'm locked down. All right, guys, let's get this bomb chicka wah wah on. Let's get started. All right, you guys. Okay, let's go ahead and let's get started here. So I have three piles going on. Okay, so let's go ahead. So we have pile one, pile two, and pile three. Like I said earlier, if it doesn't resonate with you, don't worry. This is just for a large group. Um, just go ahead and just let it fly. So let's go ahead and try and meditate. You can pause the video and go ahead and pick a pile that jumps out at you. All right, let's go ahead. Let's get started. All right, you guys, for those who chose pile number one, let's go ahead and let's get started here. I'm going to start off with the Animal Oracle card, and this will describe this significant other's personality. So you got the Hawk Spirit, and seriously love, love this one. Let Spirit be your guide. I truly believe that this person, the significant other or future life partner, is so super witty, they're intelligent, they're like fast paced, they're just like zoom in and out and and they just are, you know, so far ahead of life, I believe, and also getting at, you know, getting the word loyal as well, so this person is just, you know, um, just so intelligent that I believe that once you sit down with them and you conversate with them, you're just going to be so surprised by, by this person's personality. And that's what I'm getting from this. So this is off to a good start. Alright, group one. I'm going to keep saying group one even though you guys are pile one, but you know, hey. Okay, we're going to go on and start with your tarot here. So you got eight of cups in reverse. Okay, four pinnacles. I pulled quite a few. Two of pinnacles. Okay, and then the ten of wands in reverse. Eight of pinnacles. The sun in reverse. Okay, page of pinnacles in reverse. The Knight of Wands, and, and goes with that hot spirit there. Yes! Seven of Swords, and the Ace of Cups in reverse. Alrighty then. Alright, so far I am liking this person here. Alright, so lot of pentacle energy lots and lots and lots of it so what i got from this was that this person so the ten of wands in reverse the page of pentacles in reverse and the sun and even the eight of cups in reverse i believe that this person has gone through a really hard time they might have um i don't mean like hard time recently even maybe for some but I believe that this person, um, male or female, have had a little bit of a rough start in life and um, they have to come 
to a decision and to uh, probably like they were a little bit at a crossroads at one point in their life and they started to work and they're hustling hard. Whoever this is, is a straight up hustler. They're earning that coin. They are working night and day, probably a little bit of overtime. They are investing in themselves. I truly believe that this person might, um, their job might be something in the creative realm. Um, or, you know, I truly think that this person might work as a lawyer or in law enforcement. I think that their jobs, they work really hard jobs or maybe studying to be um, one of those, um, I would say like long-term degrees, maybe they're working on their PhD or their master's, you know, they're, they're trying to have these building blocks to, um, to better their future. And I think that this is exactly what this person is doing. So this person is just, their nine day working to get their coin. I apologize, I'm gonna go ahead and just move that over. So, very quick witted, <laughs> very, very strong minded, uh, and opinionated. That's what I'm getting from this, right? I mean, they probably have a little bit of no filter going on. And they are just, you know, they will they will speak their truth. They, they will stand up in what they believe in, whoever this person is. Yes. Okay, so what I'm getting of where you will meet this person, um, definitely in a place near water. I'm getting water. You know, um, definitely like in your local area. I don't think you would have to go very far for this person, but I truly think that it will be somewhere local, maybe near a body of water. I even like, I'm getting the word music. You might start listening, you know, or at a concert or something and or you might, you know, have a, a very similar taste in music even, you know? Oh yeah. But definitely in the daytime. Definitely in the daytime. And I think once you see this person, you're gonna click. And I'm also getting that this could be a soulmate energy as well, that I think it's gonna take you by surprise. You might be like, yeah, you know, this person is just, you know, doing their thing, looking cute over there. And then once you start talking to them, they're just gonna take you by surprise. You're like, whoa, definitely loyal, very loving person. I think that this person is just very committed to you and just wants to, you know, I'm getting a little bit of like, kind of admire you and just hold you tight, definitely. All right. So I'm getting that either you'll meet them in the next few weeks, give or take, you know, timing is a little bit hard to gauge because you know, it's a, you know, time is a little bit of a construct when it comes to um, to this, right? So it could be anywhere from a few weeks to like a few months, but I am getting some water. I don't believe you have to go very far, um, but it's very meant to be. So like some characteristics of what they would look like, I'm getting in brunette either like the, on the lighter side of brunette or even maybe auburn or even maybe if a handful of you, like a redhead. But this person, I believe it might have light brown eyes. And only say that is as soon as I was thinking of like their characteristics, I thought of the hawk, right? So light brown, green eyes, that beautiful like light brown, um, like hair color but definitely 
definitely a looker. I think they're just going to take you by surprise. And this person is super well seasoned. You're going to learn a lot from this person. Okay. So, I pulled moon cards, alright? So, I got expect powerful change. And adjustments are required. So as soon as you meet this person, it's going to change. Your life's going to change like right away. You're not going to know what hit you pretty much. So I believe that when it's adjustments are made here, I think that maybe I wouldn't look at it like as a negative thing. You might have to um, maybe make some adjustments in your life or maybe they would have to make adjustments in their life or something. Um, maybe you want to be in the same city. Like I said, I don't think that you'll go very far, but, um, you know, it could be you might shortly after you guys meet, you might, um, move in together or even like get married or something, but expecting a powerful change Yes, I think whoever this is is going to make a big impact in your life and that's vice versa. I think you both are going to learn from each other and it's your like love and you know your respect for each other. It's just going to become explosive. Yes. This is just so awesome and so beautiful. All right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. That is all I have for you. If you guys um, have any questions or comments, go ahead and comment below. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. <laughs> it's a comment a few times. Thank you so much, guys. All right, have a good one. Bye. All right, group two. Let's see what your future love and partner look like in their characteristics. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the animal energy. Elephant spirit. Learn from the past. Beautiful colors here. I think that this person, I'm getting very, very, very heavy earth energy. They might be an earth sign. Um that came off right off the bat but I think that this person totally grounded person elephants are very 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 intelligent and they have awesome memories and I think that um, this person <laughs> I got have a very distinct memory on things male or female <laughs> definitely probably one of those that will um, remember things that will blow your mind and probably will win a lot of arguments right off the bat. Okay, this is good stuff. So let's get started. The turn deck here, so I have quite a few. Ooh, off to an awesome start. The Magician. The Empress. Temperance. Wow. The Fool in Reverse. Okay, Seven of Wands, Knight of Cups, okay, Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Page of Swords, the Moon, bunch of major arcanas, dang, okay, and then Page of Cups in reverse. Oh my goodness. Wow. Whoever this person is. Wow. Okay. So. <laughs> right off the bat. Empress. Temperance energy. Remember I said this person. Sounds like they are grounded. I think that they are very highly, highly, highly intuitive. Um, I even got maybe they're an empath and they might not know it. Sorry, I'm just going to go ahead and move these down. They might be an empath or, um, and might not know it. Um, I think they're just very well in doubt in their, um, their emotions. And whew, I think whoever chose this group, um, group two, 
And I got the magician. I thought, yeah, it could be, you know, we're talking about this person. But I also think this kind of applies to you. You might have been thinking about this person or even manifested this person that you're thinking of. But very well balanced. I think this person, like, um, is into family. And don't know if you can see that there. It's one of my favorite cards, seriously. I think that they are into family, they want to have kids, they might even have a child or might maybe you even have a child coming into this relationship. But I seriously, with the moon and the magician, you might have been, you know, um, daydreaming about this person. You might have already met. For some of you, yeah, you might have met already. I think you might know who this person is. This person is like a, I would say a little bit of a larger than life, but they're super grounded, super mellow. And you were thinking about this person for a very long time. Even I think this person is a little bit of a daydreamer. <laughs> I ser seriously love the moon. Like, how can you not love this card? And, you know, they have a lo lot to offer. I think that this person is going to come into your life. Um... Probably not come in with a love offer right away, but they are very comfortable within themselves. Um, so seven of wands, you're going to meet whoever chose this group you're going to meet very soon. If you haven't met already, you're going to meet very, very, very soon. So what I'm getting from this group, um... So I do the full like in reverse here. I think that they're not very, they think a lot. Now remember, this person has a really good memory, right? They are, um, they know what's up. But I think that from what I'm getting from this is, you know, they might be into the medical field. They might be in the medical field or a job that like just keeps them like grounded even, you know, um, maybe like, yeah, they could be, they could be a clinical, but somewhere in the clinical realm that helps people. They could even be a therapist. Definitely getting that, maybe a therapist, maybe, um, it's at the tip of my tongue. Maybe even work like around children. But if they are working a very hard job, you know, it's at the end of the day, it's still a rewarding job, whoever this person is. But I'm getting a little bit of stubbornness. I even got it from the first group, but this person might be a little bit stubborn. But um, they're going to come into your life really fast. I think it's going to be very, 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 very soon. Um, but yes, I think that they're just a lovely person. They're going to come in, they're going to offer like... You might have a little bit of like going on in your life and they're just going to have it be just so well balanced, right? Oh my goodness. This is so awesome. So what I'm getting from this of what this person might look like, I believe that there could be on, I'm getting a lot of blonde going on. So maybe some, um, I got blonde here, blonde here, blonde, 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 um, possible blonde for the moon, um, the moon card, but I'm getting a lot of blonde energy, <laughs> blonde energy, <laughs> blonde is not an energy, I'm getting blonde hair, or even like on the lighter side of hair, um, fair as well, they might have a little bit of height to them, guy or girl, I'm getting some height. Definitely some height. Maybe a little bit on the younger side too. 
not too much, I would say. I'm not saying like, you know, 12 or 10 years younger. I mean, that'd be kind of weird, right? But no, no, it wouldn't. That's actually no judge, no judgment here. So um, what I mean, like if it's, never mind. Anyway, scratch what I said. So what I'm thinking is that they're a little bit on the younger side or they have like a young spirit, right? I mean, super grounded, but you know, they, this person might be starting to crack some jokes, but I mean, they will, I think they will transform things for you. And I think that you've been waiting for this person for a while, for a really long time. This is awesome. So yeah, definitely on the lighter, um, lighter hair side, some height, maybe some blue, blue to hazily eyes, I will say, because I'm getting a lot of like, like shimmering gold. So I'm getting, you know, it could be the blue or the light brown hazily side. All right, awesome. So I'm pulling moon cards. Boom, I got two. Meditate and contemplate. And show the world the real you. Okay, so whoever chose pile two, getting a little bit, it's not like the first pile where it's just straight up the other person. Getting a little bit of tidbits of you in here. So meditate and contemplate. Like I said, this person is very well grounded. You know, very long doubt. They love family. They probably, you know, love children. You know, and like when I see this card here, I'm just thinking like total zen. And see the little two fishes here? I think that this might be a, um, a not a soulmate, sorry, a twin flame connection. I think that this person will start to mirror you. And even that's why I'm like, this, you know, this card in particular, or not this card, this pile in particular, you know, a little bit of you is trickling in here. And I think that this could be a very, very strong twin flame connection. Definitely twin flame connection here. Yes. Because I'm getting it from the magician and the moon. And, you know, I think that your relationship will happen very quickly. You might even, for some of you, you might even um, uh, be married very quickly as well. I am getting the word marriage. Definitely getting the word marriage. So you might get married very fast. I don't mean like, you know, in a bad way. I'm saying that, I mean, really, is there, anyway, I'm just going to stop right there. But I feel as though that you guys are, your relationship's going to move very fast and it's going to progress. But definitely I feel this is a long-term relationship because it's just so grounded. And then show the world the real you. You know, don't be afraid to be yourself around this person because I feel as though that, you know, they might seem maybe a tad intimidating in the beginning. But once you sit down with them and you talk to them, you guys will open up, you'll have so so much in common that it probably scare you a little bit how much you guys have in common you know maybe you guys like the same I don't know the same books the maybe order the same coffee the same like coffee combinations you know some people who do like five shots of this and a dash of soy milk or something like that <laughs> <laughs> but definitely whoever chose this pile, I am getting super strong twin flame connections and super grounded, super lovely relationship, very beautiful, very flourishing. Alright you guys, that is all I have for you. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you so much. Great. Thanks guys, bye. Okay, so for my last but not least, pile three, let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, let's start off with the animal energy. Canary spirit, sing your own song. Wow. So, the, uh, sorry, 
I just realized I probably said canary energy, like start off with your canary energy. Oh my goodness. Okay. Anyway, so canary spirits, such beautiful, um, such a beautiful card. So seeing your own song, I believe that this person is like, I'm going to do things my way. You know, then the the overall like norm and this person is just gonna like be a larger than life. They're just gonna be on top of it and they're just gonna do their <laughs> things their way. This is off to a great start for group three. Okay. And also the number 12 is actually pointing out to me like right now. Maybe you've been seeing some synchronicities of um, like 12, 12, 1, 1, 2, 2, um, uh, or uh, like 21, 21 even. So just keep, like the 12 keeps pointing, like it's jumping out at me. So I'm thinking that that has probably some significance. Maybe they're born on the 12th day of, of the month or December. All right, let's, let's go ahead and get started. The Hierophant. Start with your tarot cards here. The World in Reverse. I'm just gonna move them just a smidge. Okay, Nine of Pentacles in Reverse. The Ace of Wands. The star in reverse. Queen of Cups in reverse. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. A lot of reverses. The Chariot. Sorry, that was a little bit too close. King of Wands in reverse. And Nine of Cups. Oh, right. So remember the overall energy? They're going to do things their way. That is exactly the type of energy I am picking up here. Wow. This person is a stubborn. Definitely. Okay, so this group, definitely some synchronicities going on. Remember I said like the, the one, two, one, two, or the number two. I'm also getting, the, you might be seeing the number five as well. It popped up for me in the Hierophant card here. So I believe that this person, um, he or she, is a little bit of the rebel, right? I think that, you know, the world has set some standards. I don't know, like say standards, like set some rules, you know, like it's just, you know, it's, like we kind of live in a world where we just, the world is telling us to walk in a fine line and this person does not do that. So definitely a little bit of a rebel going on here. Um, I think that this person is, you know, kind of in for the ride. I'm getting a little bit of a young spirit going on here. Um, but I think that they're having a bit of a handle on their life now. They probably were, you know, I think that you, this might be someone that you have met before and they might have been a little bit immature. And um, I think like the star in reverse, I'm getting that, you know, I think that they started to turn their selves around this could be a relationship for some, right? I'm not saying for all, but for some, this might be an ex. Um, that probably was a little bit immature. And they are starting to get their lives together. Um, they're starting to get their emotional sense together. Um, but I'm definitely feeling like you know, I'm getting like from this side, it's just like, it's so busy and this person's like, oh no, I'm not gonna follow the rules because rules don't apply to me. But now I um, I realize that, 
you know, I need to like slow down and calm down and be one and be centered. And, you know, I'm starting to know what I want now. And that's what I'm getting from, from this group that, you know, maybe they were just like emotionally all over the place. They're not like, you know, um, tapping into that feminine energy, you know, of being, you know, kind of one and being sound that, you know, they were like, you know, those, you always know that one person's like, ah, <laughs> <laughs> kind of a little bit like that, right? I think like in the beginning, you know, they were just like uh, all over the place and then they're starting to get their lives together. They're starting to peace, right? And then, you know, they're going to come back into your life um, and, um, and they're just going to be like a totally different person because I think now they know what they want now, right? Maybe I'm getting a little bit of player energy too. A little bit. But if you haven't met this person, right? If you haven't met this person already, this um, could be even a past life partner. Definitely, maybe a past life partner. But I think that... They're just starting to get themselves together. I think they're a little bit crazy. Whoever, whoever this um, could be an ex or um, a past life partner. But now they're starting to, you know, get themselves together. Now they're starting to get a grip on things. Yes. It's okay, you know? Hey, stuff happens. Seriously, stuff happens. No one is perfect. But I do feel like this person is a very, 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 very fun, very funny, very charismatic even. They're gonna like keep a smile on your face at all times. That's what I'm kind of getting at that. Yeah, they're a little bit of a rebel, might be a little bad girl or bad boy in the beginning, but now they're starting, you know, to get themselves together. You know, they might be a little bit bad, just a smidge, just a wee bit. Everyone got a little bit in them, you know? Still got a little bit of that funness in there, but this person's definitely gonna keep you on your toes, definitely be, you know, uh, I think that, whoever this person is and once they like become, you know come back into your life or come into your life that you know they're gonna they're gonna like wine and dine you they're gonna surprise they're gonna surprise you they're probably like one of those who will like show up with flowers just randomly just because you deserve them just because you deserve them but they're gonna go out of their way for some odd reason, this popped up to me, like, if, you know, masculine or feminine doesn't matter, uh, or man or woman, it doesn't matter, I think that the engagement might be a shock to you. I'm getting the word engaged, so, um, I think they're just gonna, like, shoot the moon and over the stars, right? And then they're gonna, they're gonna turn your world upside down, because you're not gonna know what to expect. Wow, I think this person is fun, definitely fun, <laughs> definitely, definitely fun, but I think you're going to like take them back, Who, whoever this is, like if you're going to invite them back in your life, I don't know everyone's situation, but you know, I think that this, this is going to be a wild ride for sure, but I think it's just going to keep things interesting. So. This person, of, you know, I believe you probably already met. If you haven't met, I'm thinking within the next maybe month or two, you might be able to meet them or they might come into your life. I think that you're going to see them like almost like from a distance. 
Like you're gonna watch them and you're gonna be like, dude, this guy is just really funny and cute. Start guy or girl, start off with like a little bit of a crush even. And then they're gonna be like, hey, you know, they're gonna take a handle of the, you know, of of their crushness and be like, yeah, let's just go out. Let's just go skydiving or something as like our first date or something. I'm not saying that that's exactly what's gonna happen. But yeah, I, that's exactly. I think that they're just gonna like surprise you and just keep you on your toes and you know it's just just such an awesome person oh my goodness so much fun so other characteristics I'm getting I'm I am getting brunette definite hard brunette here um be a little bit of the olive skin um going on think they're gonna have like about you know maybe some brown eyes about medium height for girl and you know I would say like about medium height for guy too I don't think they're gonna be like overly tall they might have a little bit of height to them but I'm definitely getting brunette here okay so I'm just gonna pull here your oracle cards you're very close to achieving your goal. Sorry, I should have said Oracle Moon cards. And a fiery climax approaches. <laughs> I don't think I need to explain what this one means. But I think that, you know, you guys will meet like in a month, maybe two. Um, maybe that's like why one and two keep jumping out, out at me. Maybe it's a month, maybe it's two, maybe it was in a week or two weeks or, you know, or some of you have already met, so they might come around and send you a text, like, out of the blue, like, you know, sometime soon. Oh, definitely. So I think that you're very, very, very close, and this might happen um, a little bit fast even um I don't think this is like a low and slow relationship I think this is like a fun ride um I think you know <clears throat> I'm gonna keep it PG keep it very PG but I think that yeah you guys got it going it's gonna be like I think it's going to be like awesome, definitely. So I'm getting really fiery energy here and whoever this person is, they're a lot of fun. Awesome. All right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning into my reading. I hope you guys have a great one. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. All right, you guys, thank you so much. Bye.